If you remember way back almost a year ago now, I made a video on Disney's Zootopia. It was all about what exactly the Night Howler flowers truly are, and I further exposed Mayor Bellwether's crimes. I also promised all of you that I would someday look deeper into the reasons she shows so much disdain towards predators, and today just so happens to be that day. There's a lot to work on here, and I even have a few ideas you guys put forth. Hello, I'm the Theorizer, and let's do this! One of the things you discussed is how it's quite possible that this genetically altered variation upon the Autumn Crocus may perhaps have a very lengthy, almost poisonous half-life of sorts, and that's why the doctors of Zootopia needed to make a serum to speed it up. Good idea, it makes sense, and it would be much more efficient for her desired long-term effects. Also, though, they're ingesting it in a less intense form, so it could just be a super-packed version of the same poison. Another one of you pointed out how Bellwether's name parallels that of the flower known as Belladonna, aka Nightshade, which sounds like Night Howler, and it does have an antidote. However, she is in fact named after the lead sheep in any given sheep herd known as, yes, a Bellwether sheep. But this leads me into my next point about her digging out her past, and how she does in fact lead a team of sheep, her drug makers. Assistant Mayor Don Bellwether's past is something I'm going to have a fun but wildly difficult time trying to figure out. To do something as complex and ambiguous as this, something that has no evidence to prove it, it takes the right amount of hypothesis, assumption, and logic. The basis of all of this, as those who have viewed my Night Howler theory will know, is the fact that Mayor Bellwether has a hatred for all predators. Her will to make a move against all predators, as opposed to just Lionheart, indicates to me and anyone with a keen eye that her hatred most likely does not stem from him insulting her and calling her petty little names. The movie makes it out to seem that way, I think they even briefly talk about that, but it's quite clearly not the case. Don Bellwether is incredibly intelligent and wouldn't be pushed by something so petty as occasional teasing. But if good writing has taught me anything, it's that no villain is simply a villain. They have reasons, and Dawn most certainly does too, as she's not visually someone who looks born crazy. So with a tad bit of logic, we have established that something must have happened in her past that made her hate predators. Next, we can look at her job. She's an assistant mayor who's worked her way up the ranks in an attempt to rule Zootopia, showing that she's serious about this predator elimination thing. So while it could have been incessant bullying she endured during childhood from the estranged and misunderstood predator population, that is still less likely to be the case. It was something traumatic, something horrific, and then boom, as I began literally typing those letters, S-O-M-E-T-H-I-N-G-H-O-R-R-I-F-I-C, it completely hit me. Bellwether has obvious knowledge of the Autumn Crocus, or Night Howler, or possible cocaine or whatever you want to call it. That's how she knew to use it. And this whole time, I have been following my gut instinct and thinking that maybe her family was murdered by predators. But the reason? Got it. They accidentally ingested the Autumn Crocuses in their natural floral form. Just like Judy's uncle did. It makes sense. The bunnies and sheep share alike habitats. Vengeance with the same murder weapon. Three birds with one stone. Constant mental and internal torture for those hit with the serum. The deaths of those attacked by those poisoned. And the racism induced towards a whole group of animals. She'd get everything. As predators killed themselves, they'd also be segregated by the majority of prey. It's the perfect revenge plan, and it makes sense. Her name is Bellwether, and she rules a team of sheep, likely ones that she's known for some time. Perhaps her last name is Bellwether because her family was a powerful and in-control one who ruled over many sheep. In real life, the last names of many grand families stem from keywords that describe them. It only makes sense based off of her last name and almost cult-like followers. This high-end, almost royal position would allow her to also gain easy access to a government position, especially if she was the only one left in her special family after everyone else was killed by poisoned predators. Perhaps her mansion's servants were poisoned by the flowers outside. 
and the oncoming death was too much for her to handle, spiraling her into a diabolical sociopathy. It only makes sense based off of her last name, her choice of poison, her wants, her wills, and her overall mental state. I just came up with this on the spot while typing a script about my old theory. I'm coming up with it as I go, but look at how interesting this is. It cannot be debunked unless there is counter evidence, so please aid with that. But there must still be more. And there is. For example, at the end of the film, one of the few police officers disguises as a ram. One that looks just like something from Bellwether's team. It's as if the cops are still attempting to dismantle Bellwether's drug scheme from the inside of its core. This plan of hers was intended to span a very long time and was planned to be a complete success, so this dismantling is most certainly required. But then I rewatched Bellwether's scenes and found something more about Lionheart. Don Bellwether said at one point how Lionheart only allowed her to be his vice mayor because he wanted the vote of the sheep population. So basically, he hired her quite unwillingly and has forever since lived with his decision. It's not a villainous thing he does by teasing her, it's just frustration that he didn't get the outcome he wanted. Now that's just what Bellwether said, that doesn't mean at all that she's telling the truth. It's quite possible that he was forced to hire her as a part of her deceased family's will and the power they had, tying it all back around to her general trauma. So it was a traumatic experience regarding accidentally poisoned predators who lashed out at the likely powerful family of sheep nearest to them. Bellwether being the sole survivor leads her to exact revenge on the predators with the same murder weapon, ultimately planning to wipe them from existence with their own force. It's a villainous and fitting backstory. If she was handed the position of assistant mayor, it makes sense as to why her office is kind of crammed in the storage room. Lionheart wasn't prepared for her, and he doesn't really need a second mayor. Something interesting to note as well is that the coordinates of Zootopia are actually seen on Bellwether computer. So now we don't have to keep predicting where Zootopia is, now we know. And it's located in the center of Hollywood, California. So I was a bit off before by stating it was in the Alps, but these locations do still appear quite similar with the natural habitats and mountains. But these coordinates, being even more specific, lead to a place somewhat nearby to Disney's production locations. They lead to a salsa and beer Mexican restaurant. Perhaps it's a place the Disney crew likes to go? I was shocked to find that others had also checked the coordinates, but they too were dumbfounded at the randomness of this random little restaurant. But still, these coordinates affect the lore of the movie with their pesky canonicity, so boom, we found Zootopia, a parallel universe in Hollywood. But still about that Mayor Bellwether. Keep watch over your thoughts after this video, and don't stall in sharing them. I love this kind of thing. Thank you for your time, y'all. I'm the Theorizer. Bye.